is going on guys so today got a little video just gonna be talking about the updates uh, so before we get into the actual updates um, I'd like to say they're not out yet in the title you'll see um, something along the lines of not released or not out yet or not live I'll update that when it is live so if you're watching this early on it probably won't be live because I'm still actually working on things at the moment and I'll show you what I'm doing in a bit but but yeah, these updates have been delayed. We don't give any ETAs anymore, but everyone sort of knew that this was going to be coming out last weekend, and um, it didn't happen. And I have a good reason for it. <laughs> I do finally have a good a reason. Um, I don't really want to talk about my, my personal life too much, but my sister did just have a child. So I'm an uncle now, and um, I, you know, that, that obviously takes a lot of time. Kids are not easy, so... Uh, that's been fun, and uh, that's where my time has gone, so uh, if you've played the server, you'll know that I was on my Duo Iron Man all the time, and lately I haven't been, I just haven't had the time. So I've been trying to get these updates out. Um, unfortunately, we, we really wanted this to be a huge update, and um, as I'm about to get into it, it is going to be a big update. This has potential to be one of the biggest updates we've ever released, because uh, there's a lot of different things, like there's a lot of content. It shouldn't, you shouldn't, normally with an update, there's like two or three things and if it does matter to you, then you'll like it, cool. And if it doesn't even matter to you, then, you know, you're kind of just sitting there with your dick in your hand waiting for the next update. This update has a ton of stuff for a ton of different players. There's some scaling updates, some PKing updates, PVM updates. There's a little bit of everything, a little bit of extra and whatnot. So let's, um, let's get started. So here is the post I've been working on. And again, this is not complete. I still have a couple of loose ends to uh, tie. Um, I'm hoping to release it tonight on the 2nd. But, yeah, I figured I'd make this video first to let you guys know that we will have double experience. To, uh, to apologize for how long this has been delayed, um, we are going to have double experience this entire weekend. And since it might even get delayed further, I'll keep it on on to Monday or Tuesday or whatever. We'll see. So, yeah. Uh, to, um, if you want to play for double experience, that's happening. Let's uh, let's actually get started with the update. So, Rev Cave, I already talked about that in its own video, so you can check that out there. I don't want to go by these, like, one for one. I'll just sort of go over the ones that are interesting. Um, this right here doesn't... I'm debating on whether or not I need these. I don't think I do. This doesn't really help people who aren't, st you know, staff. This is a definitely... This is something we staff really needed, so that's there now. Um, as for... I think that that's just a cash thing. I'm not sure if that's what it's going to look like. Um, I, I don't really know. Like I said, this update isn't complete. So if you see something that's glitchy or doesn't work correctly, um, just, you know... Be, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in time. Um, so that's there. Their uh, placeholders have been added. Let me show you where I'm trying to put a, put a new bank here. I'm trying to figure out where it was. Uh, so I'll put placeholders on. Um, now, obviously, with placeholders, that's something that's... There's always the potential for issues. If you have bank tabs, just be careful. That's all I'll say. We Obviously, we've, we've put a lot of time into this dark. Um, dark and another good dude. Um, put a lot of effort into this to get it working. So, yeah, if you have any issues with it, just you know, cal you know, calm down. Don't flip out and you know, rage in the in the uh, help chat because I know I know you guys are gonna do that. I know that's exactly what you guys are gonna do. But yeah, let me uh, deposit everything here and let's just take some stuff out. Show you how it works. Let's get notes. So boom. Now if we want to keep our sharks right there, boom. So let's just take a couple things out so we prove it's actually like functioning. And then, uh, this, this item never is... I, I've de been debating on this item for such a long time if I want to do anything with it. If anybody's familiar with the um, RuneScape 3 update, uh, Luck of the Pugs is kind of a play off of Luck of the Dwarves, which was an item that actually is in RuneScape 3. A lot of people think that the, I just made those up. Um, no, I didn't. It's, it's on RS3, I just kind of copied it and made it Luck of the Pugs. Because, you know, obviously I'm going to make it Luck of the Pugs. And um, if you have the Luck of the Dwarves, the, the real ring, you have a chance of getting an even better ring when it's worn. It's called Hazelmere's Signet or something like that, and it like has a chance of double drops. Um, so yeah, that's that's just an idea in the background. That's It hasn't happened yet. This doesn't even do that. I think this just functions as a, uh, a Luck of the Pugs right now, because I made the Chow Chow account, so obviously I didn't want to have Luck of the Pugs on a Chow Chow account. Um, let's uh, close the bank, and as you see, we... It's all still there. We put that in there. There you go. So you got placeholders. It does work with tabs. Let me just get some tabs real quick. I just know that through the process of testing it, the tabs have crashed a lot. So hopefully that doesn't happen. 
I believe we've figured out the reason why that happened. Well, not we. I don't want to take any credit for it. This is all dark. This is all dark and another dude who... I apologize. I don't even know his name. I did I, Dark talked with him, so it wasn't really me and him. Uh, so there's that. Cool. So I think the um, the reason that your banks would cr your bank tabs would crash was if a pet got added to your bank. I believe that was one of the reasons. So we've redone that code. He did. The, I keep saying we, but I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just it's like a part of being the server owner. You always just say we, because you know we we do everything. Um, so there's that bank tabs no longer collapsing. That's sh like again. That's like sort of the same thing. So hopefully that's fine. All spec weapons have been nerfed. Let me um, prove this to you. Because I know that I've said this a lot, and um, ba I'll just kind of kind of give you like a little explanation of how it worked. Here's a missile dagger. That's the one I want. Uh, so basically, with the combat system, we've changed it a handful of times, and um, we never changed the spec weapons to like match our changes. You know what I mean? So spec weapons always kind of like were just broken as hell. So that was one of the main reasons PKing wasn't actually good, because you'd get one shot by stuff like Crystal Halberd. I'm trying to remember the ID for Crystal Halberd. 109... 19021? 13... 092? That is 1309. I got second try. A little dwarf head just for the wolves. Uh, so let's go spec something. Now, um, let's actually test that. Yeah, there's now a PvP teleport on the Lunar Spellbook. There was not before um, on that spellbook, so I forgot to just test that. I don't know. See, they're not labeled properly. Um, let's just go to catacombs. This is probably going to be a real bad example because I'm probably just going to like ramble the hell out of something. I honestly never tested it, so we're actually you know, like live. Like, what I do is I code everything first, and I test it a little bit to make sure it, like the code functions, and then I actually test it a lot later on. Um, so there's probably a, a possibility that spec weapons are really bad now. Every single spec, as you can see, four zero spec weapons are complete garbage. Um, we're going to have to make improvements. <laughs> it's for sure. I'm, I'm not, you know, uh, there's definitely going to need to be some more improvements. Um, I'll probably spend a little bit of time before the update is released trying to see if I can't do anything myself. Uh, obviously, this isn't potted, but you can see these specs are awful. In fact, it's the nerf is too strong. Nerf is too strong. Let's try a dagger. Is it just halberd? Is it all, all spec weapons? 3-0. Wow, they don't even work anymore. That's interesting. I'm glad I tested this. I'll look into that, though. It, it's Basically, my point is it's nerfed, though. As you can see, the nerf is real... I'm not lying to you, and obviously we'll, we'll improve it a little bit, just because that, that, <laughs> that, that, that's garbage. Um, Redwood short bows now sell for 2 mil cash, so you can make some... That's a skilling, apart, or a skilling update right there. You make some cash through fletching. I don't actually know how much that is per hour. I've had a couple staff members test for me, and I got um, inclusive, inconclusive numbers. But I don't think it's overpowered. I'm not sure if it's worth doing, but it's definitely not overpowered, and that's, you know... That's the first step. Uh, you also get a message now when you make... Uh, when you actually make one before you would just have it in your inventory nothing would ha you wouldn't even notice unless you saw it um the uh pvp teleports there you can now disassemble a ton of clue items i'll just kind of let you browse at that all these clue items are now disassemblable all the armor sets that everybody has the reason i didn't make them disassemblable in the first place was because they're needed for comp cape and i didn't want people to accidentally do it but uh fuck it just don't don't accidentally do it how about that <laughs> Uh, so the next thing, which I'm, I literally just did this, so this is going to be um, a raw. We'll just use the word raw. And there's probably still issues. Um, let me. Uh, I need to add. An, I'm going to add a fossil island command just so you can get a fossil island easier. I feel like having the gangplank over here definitely hurts fossil island. There's a couple fossil island uh, updates in this, and I'll talk about those in a sec. But uh, we've added, uh, essentially, bonfire. So if you come over to the Fossil Island, and the Legendary Zone has a fire as well, and that fire works, um, but for normal players, uh, the Fossil Island. You come to this fire that's just not right here. See, the problem with, with RuneScape is it's, it's, it's like on grids. You see the grids? But you can't put the thingy in the thingy. So what, what, what actual developers would do who are talented and went to college and whatnot would um, just make it so that this was like centered there but obviously I'm stupid and that's not happening uh, so I changed the animation a little bit so it's not the same it's I don't know why you're alking bonfire bone fire the experience rates are not set I just did those for testing in fact the normal log and the redwood log are the only ones that actually work right now but we will have bonfire and it you don't see it yet because I didn't update but there is numulite you'll get numulite as well so you can actually like I think it I think we've designed it so that 
is it 250 logs? 250 logs would give you 50k new light. That might be overpowered. If you think that's overpowered, let me know, because we have a chance to remedy that. I don't think it will be. Uh, that is pretty fast. That is way faster than I thought it was. But we'll, we'll play it. We'll play it by ear. I just feel like a lot of people probably have bones. Um, the Beads of the Dead have been improved, so they actually like have a good prayer bonus now. The Bone Sack, actually, whenever you have it in your inventory, you don't have to wear it. Whenever you have it in your inventory, it will double the chances of fossil drops. So a normal fossil drop was, let's say, well, it used to be, because I've also doubled the fossil drops anyway. So fossils are way more common. And then if you have this, they're technically four times more common than they used to be. So fossils should definitely be more interesting now. You should be able to get some Mr. Boxes, keys. I want to add more items in here. I just don't have any ideas. The only idea I had was to make these two things useful. Um, so if you have any ideas, suggest them. And eventually I'll come up with some better ideas. Um, yeah, fossil island. That's, it's, it's, I'm trying to make it more like you actually have to be here. Because I was explaining this area to a, a YouTuber. And uh, he was like, well, what do you do here? And you really don't do anything. <laughs> you kind of just exchange your Numulite, buy stuff in the shop, and then you leave. I don't think I've ever seen anybody killing these other than, like, the first time they ever teleport. That's it. And that's mostly, like, what the hell they do. I think they just, they're just, like, rock crabs, basically, they're for noobs and whatnot. All of the other fossil, like, type things are not even on this island. They're just in other places. So I'm working on more ways. I actually have an idea for a hunter pet, and uh, you can probably take some guesses. Or not hunter pet, hunter skill boss. I think we'll probably take some guesses on what we'll do, but I'll save that for later. Uh, when killing any monster in the wilderness, you now have a 1 in 100 chance of getting an emblem drop. That's pretty self-explanatory. The agility shortcut at the Love Dragons is fixed. Halos now have more bonus. I don't think I've updated, so they don't have the more bonus now. I'll just show you what it is right now. Oh, they do. 15. So they will have 15 prayer bonus each now. So that's actually um, useful for going to an area where you don't need strength bonus or whatnot. Um, Glad was added, which is a new demi-boss. Um... It's not finished yet, so I don't really want to show anything. Um, the Dark Stones and the Silic Gloves are now in-game. So this is something I talked about a while back, and I never really gave much warning that this was coming, but this is definitely something I wanted to do. So basically, this is how it works. Whenever you kill a monster over 300 combat, and if you ever want to know, just go to Old School Wiki. Um, I'll, if I can remember, I'll put this in the description, but it tells you all the monsters that are over 300. Um, obviously, we're going to have some custom ones. I'm going to make sure... I'm sort of just going to design a lot of monsters just to make sure they fit in this. But basically, any monster over 3 in a combat level has a 1 in a 1,000 chance of dropping the uh, Dark Stone. Once you have n 9 Dark Stones, use them on a pair of Barrel's Gloves, and you get the Asilic Gloves, which I believe should have stats then. If the, uh, if the uh, Halo has stats, they should have stats. I was going to say, there's no way I just remembered that off the top of my head. Nah, I don't remember nothing. I remember some things. The things you do a lot. Like, the things you use a lot of. Nope, I just can't even type. 131031. Boom. Silly gloves. Don't worry about that. That's all lies. That's all lies. But as you can see, they have some pretty, pretty crazy stats. Plus 15 in all of the melee stats. They're melee gloves. So they will be the best in slot melee gloves. Um... I'm, I'm sort of thinking that Old School will probably add better gloves in, in the future. And if so, we'll probably make those the better ones. But for now, I just feel like this game being around for so long, it feels stupid to have Barrel's Gloves as the best gloves you've had for you know, 10, 15 years. It's just, I feel like they should have made improvements by now. Um, and there's a couple Donut Air Store changes. I don't want to talk about that. You can just you know see that when the update comes out. But uh, yeah, there's a couple other things that are, are half done. They're not going to be in this update, but they will be soon. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the XP count is, is different. I think you probably saw that when I was doing the logs and whatnot. It looks a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, we'll have double experience this weekend. Uh, check the title. If the title says the update is live, the update is live. If it doesn't, it is not. But, uh, yeah, this will be coming very soon. Um, if we can't crunch it out tonight, it'll definitely be um, this weekend, though. So, you can definitely expect this soon. And then also, once this is live, I'll be back on Pepper as well, do all Iron Man working on the series and whatnot.